Yo, what's going on YouTube? Well, thought I'd do a uh, a little knife review for you today. Um, like I said before in my previous videos, I was going to try to switch things up uh, with some of the reviews. Uh, I have done some, uh, I don't know if you would just call them a review before in the past on knives. I've just, I've done some uh, knives that I've shown you. But now what I want to do is I want to kind of get more specific with some of the knives. Now, I've not done any kind of uh, uh, test with them as far as, you know, taking them out and, and chop, you know, chopped wood or, or something like that. But uh, what I want to do with these with this review is I just want to go over actual a classification of a certain, made, uh, certain uh, knife made by a certain maker. And... Uh, just kind of give you the specs on it uh, and tell you the reason why I bought them and uh, just go from there so I don't want to make this video too long because I've got uh, I got a few knives here and as the title in, in uh, entails these are going to be all bench made knives uh, I had never heard of bench made up until you know I walked into a store with a buddy of mine probably about four years ago because I wasn't really that big of a gun uh, knife guy but uh, Back then, I was just kind of buying stuff because it was cool to have. But anyways, so my buddy, he was very knowledgeable in knives. And he said he is, you know, bench made is a very, very high quality made knife. So I picked one up and, you know, obviously, you know, since then, I've learned a lot more about the bench made knives. And so that's the reason why I've picked up these knives that I've got. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and uh, show you the knives. And what I've done is... Uh, on each knife and I don't want to make it too boring of a video but you know uh, specs and stuff are definitely a nice thing to know about the knife so what I've done is I went ahead and looked on the uh, internet on Benchmade's uh, website to get specs on each of these knives so let's get started so the first knife that we're going to uh, to do it's called it's made by Benchmade and it's called the Pardu P-A-R-D-U-E Auto Striker Now this knife, the reason I picked it up Like I said, besides just being a bench made knife uh, I just like the look of it, uh, it uh, I kind of tend to try to like uh, Assisted knives uh, Opening knives Assisted opening knives Or maybe just regular uh, um, Just regular, you know, straight knives You know non-folding knife so and then obviously it being bench made I picked it up so this is the first one uh, that I picked up when I was with my buddy and uh, this is uh, let's go ahead and go over some let me open the blade like that I'll let you take a look at it while I'm reading some of the specs on the on the knife uh, now like I said it's a Pardue Auto Striker uh, the mechanism inside the knife is a push button automatic. Uh, the bl this blade, the steel on this, is a one fifty four cm fifty eight dash six one hrc. The uh, blade length is three point six inches. Uh, the thickness of the blade is point one two four inches. The opening length. The entire uh, knife is 8.3 inches. Closed length when it's closed is 4.7 inches. Uh, the handle thickness right here uh, is half an inch. It weighs 4.2 uh, ounces. Uh, it says the blade style of the blade is a Tonto style blade. And the uh, handle material it's uh, 6061 T6 aluminum. Um, so that's the specs of the knife. Um, it is, you know, most, if, you know, obviously people who are watching this know obviously something about Benchmade. But Benchmade has come out of the box extremely sharp. Uh, so, so this one also has the, uh, take a look here, push that up. It's a locking mechanism. So you cannot, you know, lock it accidentally or whatever so it's not going to close on you uh, but uh, 
and then you close it. Now what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and try to do, you know, we all, most people, you know, are into knives, do the old paper test to, to test the sharpness. So I've never done it. I've never done a sharp uh, paper test on any of these knives. So uh, whether it does it or not, I don't know. We'll see. So we'll try the first one and see what it does. Well, it looks like it's pretty sharp. It's pretty freaking sharp without hardly any, and it's not ripping it. You can see it, there's no rough edges. It's nice and smooth. So it uh, it definitely uh, uh, is a sharp knife. So this knife is really, really cool. You know, it's got the little clip on it. You can put it on your belt. Uh, it's fairly decent. Uh, now the price, for the retail price for this knife, uh, <laughs> it's pretty high. This knife, knife here retails... For 265 I don't remember I don't think I paid for full retail for the knife um, but that's if you go to their website that's what it says it retails for uh, I think I may have picked it up for less than I hardly pay retail for anything I get next is a uh, I've always been fascinated with the uh, switchblade style I guess you could call it or the forward assist the ones where the blades come out you know straight out of the knife and uh, in most, a lot of states, uh, these types of knives are illegal, and uh, but here it's not. So they make two different knives. They're the same knife, but one's called the uh, one's called the Infidel, and the other one's called the Mini Infidel. Now, what I did was I went ahead and looked up the specs on the Mini Infidel. So basically, you know, the specs are going to be. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> Wrong one. Oops. Spoiler. Um, what it is is the specs on the mini is going to be different than the uh, full size. Oh, I guess I didn't bring the full size. I have the full size. Oh, yeah, here it is. It's over here. Anyways, what I was getting at is uh, they make two sizes. They make the Infidel and the Mini Infidel. And it comes in this... Uh, now, that knife... I'm sorry. The other knife uh, doesn't have a kind of a sheath. It comes in this kind of like silk-made pouch that the knife goes in. So, you know, it's really cool. I like that. So to protect it, um, the, the Mini Infidel and the Infidel, I'll show you here in a second, come in this, uh, looks like it's got Molly style, you know, type sheath. So anyways, that's it. Now let's, uh, let me just kind of show you it real quick. Uh, there's the back of it, of the clip. Uh, feels very heavy. Um. There is the front of it, there's the unlocking neck mechanism, and then obviously it's going to be out the front. I like it also because it's double edge on it. And uh, so let's, uh, let's do some uh, specs on this real quick. Now the designer of this actually, even though it's a Benchmade, it's called uh, McHenry and Williams. Uh, the mechanism is out the front. Uh, the blade steel on this is D260-62HRC. Uh, the blade length on this is 3.91 inches. The blade thickness, which is very, very thin, is 0.118. Um, the open length, with it open, it's 8.91. The closed length, when it's closed, is 5 inches. The handle thickness, pretty thick. Is a little bit over half an inch. It's 0.59, and it weighs 4.9 ounces. Now this is the mini. Now I'll show, like I said, to show you the full size one here in a second. But anyways, uh, this knife uh, is just—it's very sharp. So we'll do the paper test here in a second. It's very, very sharp. But more importantly than that, it's very durable. There's no, and the reason I'm fixing to show you this is because. The full size one I got, now I don't know if it's just because of where I bought it or whatever, but if you take a look, this, this has no wobble in it whatsoever. The full size one, which I'll show you here in a second, has a little wobble on it. The blade, it's kind of, I don't know what if it's just the mechanism inside is, is loose or what, but this one's not. This one's extremely tight. And I like the way it, it, it's made, the ergonomics of it. You know, it's got these little kind of like swoops in on each side so you can kind of hold the knife like that you know and you know I guess do whatever 
Uh, it's very nice. So let's do the paper test on this one. Now this one is not as sharp. I guess now it's got a sharp point. I mean, see, look, it's tearing. Let's try the other side, see the other side. Yeah, I mean, it's sharp. Now, I've not done anything to this knife. This is the way it came out of the box. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't really feel that much sharp. Well, we'll just kind of get a close-up of it real quick. Um, but I like it. It's still cool. Uh, I imagine, obviously, I'm gonna, I'll eventually uh, take it and get it sharpened. But it goes in very tight. Now, the mechanism to open and close this thing it's not it, it, it takes some pressure to open and close it so I like that now like I said I'm not gonna go into no details of make it's all pretty much the same except for length on the full-size infidel and which is this one right here pretty much everything's the same and like I said though listen if you can hear it, it it's, it's for whatever reason it's loose so I don't know if that's just this knife itself or what but let's we'll try the uh, knife test on this one oh, now this one wow now this one's definitely sharp now it may be loose but it's definitely sharp so it's it's much sharper than the mini um so let's kind of take a once over of this knife now the prices of these are pretty expensive for the for the uh for the uh, mini it's 400 405 bucks retail and for the full size infidel it's 475 I do remember I did pay a pretty penny for both of these and it still comes in the same kind of sheath as the mini but bigger um, but I still even at that point even uh, I don't think I paid I could have I don't remember because these knives are not easy to come by you have to actually buy bench made knives or at least these knives uh, from an authorized dealer not everybody carries them now even places that do carry bench made I've seen several places um, not all of them will carry the forward assist depending on what state you're you're in so anyways we're gonna go on to the next one and the next one is called which is the one I showed by accident earlier it also come and now this comes just like the uh, the uh, Purdue Auto comes uh, in a little silk bag and this one this one is called the mini barrage okay now this one it is it's 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 not a full assist knife you have to flick the, the little knob on the blade right here but once you do it, it it fires right open without hardly any effort um, this knife, let me we'll go over the specs on this one. The designer of this one is his name was Osborne. Uh, the mechanism on this is Access Assist. Uh, the blade steel on this knife is 154CM 58-61HRC. Uh, HRC. The uh, blade length of the knife is uh, 2.91 inches. The blade thickness of the knife is uh, 0 .100. Uh, the open length of it, when it's open, 6.91 inches. Uh, the closed length is 4 inches. And the handle thickness is 0 .57, so a little bit over half an inch. Um, this knife, you know, this knife is just, you know, I have some other knives that are kind of like this one, uh, you know, as far as uh, the style. Um, but this one does feel definitely. Uh, you know a little bit you know beefy I guess you could say it's got a nice little clip on it um, it's got a nice grip you know you can, even though I'm full size you can still got a decent grip it's got a little indentation right here for your for your thumb uh, it's really nice it's got the little latch like most of them do so you have to hit that in order to lock it I mean to to fold it um, and like I said it just takes barely hardly any effort to open the knife it does it also has a lock button mechanism right here so you can't you know you can't accidentally hit that button and cut yourself and close it so anyways now the price on this gun retails for a hundred and forty bucks so not bad um, next on here 
Did you, you know, I don't think I did the, uh, I don't think, I almost forgot. I think I almost forgot to do the paper test. I don't think I did the paper test on this. Let's see what this thing does. Ooh, wow. That's pretty darn nice sharp. Oh, sorry, I may have bit it off camera. Let's try it again. Oops. Well, that wasn't wrong here. Let's do it this way. Yeah, it's very sharp. Pretty darn sharp. So, and it's a pretty cool freaking knife. I like that. So, yeah, that's pretty awesome. All right, let's see here. Just got a few more knives here. I don't want to make draw out this video. Um, well, I got a second, and while I'm finding the other page and stuff. I want to say once again thank you to everybody who uh, who has subscribed to my channel. Uh, I've recently, I, uh, one thing I want to address and I haven't addressed in a long time on all my other videos is um, I, I receive, you know, just like a lot of people, a lot of comments on uh, videos. Most, you know, some are good, some are bad. Some people even, you know, I like them. They're, we'll see it and, and stick up for the people that are making bad comments. Um, you know, but I welcome them all. And like I've said in all my other videos, you know, I don't profess to be a, a professional gun person as far as uh, knowing stuff. But I am more and more every day learning uh, the ins and outs of all my weapons and becoming more efficient with them uh, and how they work and how to clean them. How to, you know, so I am getting better with that. But um, you know, I appreciate all the comments. You know, I get good and bad. Um, like I said, you know, uh, I love guns. I'm just a typical person who was blessed at that moment in time and period in my life where I was able to uh, be able to purchase the uh, the firearms and all the other stuff you have seen, and I don't take it for granted, you know. And uh, I just I feel real blessed, so I'm glad I'm able to do these videos, and and I um, hope that you guys are not just entertained, but you know uh, you're like me when you watch and you surf YouTube for knives and guns and stuff. You're you're as entertained with this video as I am when I watch other ones. So anyways, <laughs> enough of that. Let's go ahead and go to the next knife. All right, so the next knife is called the Bone Collector. Okay, um, like I said, I bought this knife just because it, at, at, at first glance it was a, uh, it's a Benchmade knife. But man, once you take a look at this knife, you know, it's got a typical leather sheath to it. Um, you know, it's got a Bone Collector on there. Uh, pretty cool looking knife okay back of the sheath nothing fancy pretty thick though you know it's a pretty thick um, bottom of that uh, let's go ahead and open up the knife pull it out and I'll go ahead and give the specs of the knife while I'm uh, I'll show you enough while I'm reading the specs alright this is uh, bench made uh, there is no mechanism because it's a fixed blade um, uh, the blade steel, though, is it's called CPM-530V uh, 5860 HRC. Uh, the blade length on this is 4.05 inches. The blade thickness of it is 0 0.120. The overall length of this is 8 8.6 inches, and the uh, the handle on here which it looks pretty freaking cool it's called diamond wood now this knife you know this one you know this definitely is a knife where if you're gonna go do some hunting or something like that you definitely don't want to take this with you you know uh, just in case you need to gut some fish or well, I don't know why my light keeps doing that gut some fish or, or whatever the case is um, it's uh, I know what hold on I'm sorry people let me let me do this instead there, let's do it. Perfect. Um, you know, this this is one of those types of knives. You know, hunting, whatever the case is. Uh, I like the knife because it's one full blade, you know, running into the knife. And it has these little serrations. Well, they're not really serrations, but these little... Like I said, I don't know knives a lot, so I know I'll get a lot of comments on it. Uh, these little bumps or whatever. But it makes the, it feel real good in your hand, you know, when you're... You know, because... When you hold it and you got that and you got this right here, it just feels better. So, really cool knife. Uh, I kind of like the design, you know, on there, the bone collector design. Pretty cool. Uh, so, let's try the old paper test on this one and see how she does. Well, 
seems to be sharp. Here, I gotta find another spot here. I don't wanna cut myself. Alright, let's try this. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Nice and sharp, nice and sharp. You know, except for that one, I think the, the mini Infidel, the, uh, all these knives are extremely sharp right out of the box. Really nice, it feels really heavy. Uh, you know that you got a really good knife here. So that is the Bone Collector. And the retail price on that one is $145. So uh, it's like the old adage, you know, like I tell people, you know, you can, you can probably get a cheaper knife, you know, something bigger or looking scary or whatever. But it's like in anything, like they say, you get what you pay for. So I think, you, you know, it's a high price for these knives, but, you know, you're getting good quality knife yeah, with a reputable company. All right, I've got one more to show you. Now, I've actually got two of them. What I want to show you is I've actually bought two because I, the reason I bought two of these knives is because I thought they were extremely cool. And uh, so I uh, bought two. Now, I've got one that's, well, I'll show you. You'll understand what I'm saying here in a second. One that's finished and one's just right out of the box. So, this knife is called the Cybert Fixed Amadeus. A, a, yeah, Amadeus knife. And here's what you get with the knife. Okay, so here's the knife right here. I mean, so right off the get-go, there's a little wooden uh, protector sheaf over it. And uh, it has the word sharp all over it, okay? Um, so that's that. And I'll get into the knife here in a second. Here is the uh, sheath that goes in it. I don't know what... The, I didn't look up, or at least I didn't pay attention to what the material... Uh, I know it's not just a plastic. There's you know, probably a technical name for what this is made out of this material that this goes into. But it locks, and I'll show you here in a second, in the knife that it comes with some paracord which you obviously probably know it's going to go around the handle um, and then it's got a uh, where this goes on to the uh, screws onto the uh, sheath and you can put it on your belt okay so let's get let's look at the knife here we go and let's go into some uh, details of the knife now, I've got another knife that I bought like this, and I had a buddy of mine who's uh, in the military who actually put the paracord on it, and I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's all done. So let's just take a look at it. All right, so designer of this knife is Shane Seibert. Uh, it's a fixed blade. The blade steel on this is D2-60, uh, I'm sorry, 60-62 HRC. The blade length of here, it's 4.2 inches long on it. Uh, the blade thickness of the knife, it's uh, 0.170 inches. The blade length, the overall length of the gun, uh, the excuse me, <laughs> of the knife is 9.03, and it only weighs 5.6 ounces. That is pretty freaking cool. This knife, when I saw it, it's just real tactile. You know, I love this uh, serration backbone on here. Uh, really, 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 really cool looking knife. Um, so I had to get this knife. Just, I mean, when I originally bought it, I just bought it for just looks, uh, you know, just for coolness. Come to find out, I did a really good pick with this knife because it's uh, very popular. So I'm going to put this one back away, and I'm going to show you the other one I've got that is, uh, it's finished. And what I mean by that, like I said, it's the one that my buddy put the uh, paracord and everything on. So here's the other one I got. And this is what it looks like. My buddy did this paracord job. And this is tight. And it's locked into this sheaf. And it's got the uh, little clip that you put on your belt already on here. Now, I'm left-handed, so this is made for me to put on my left side. But this thing will not... Now, I'm going to show you. It's locked in here. And I'm going to show you. It's hard. You just see to come out. And so, like I said, this... Now, this was obviously is the same knife, but it has the black paracord. And the way he did it, he put a big loop on the end so I can 
Well, my hand's either gotten bigger or this is... Anyway, so you can put it around your wrist and you won't lose it. Um, here's the other side. The paracord job, in my opinion, that he did was extremely well. Very well. Very, very tight. You know, there's there's no... There's no play in it. There's no. It's not loose or anything. So he did a very, very, very good job when he uh, when he put this uh, paracord on here. And uh, like I said, the sheath that it comes in, just you know, super tight. Oh, I forgot to. Uh, almost forgot to do the uh, paper test. Let's see here. Uh, I think I destroyed that uh, last piece. So we got one more piece. We'll get a fresh piece out here. Alright, let's see how sharp this bad boy is. It's sharp, but I, I don't know if it's some sharp as... Now, I could be doing it strong, too. It looks... I mean, it's sharp, but... Yeah. It's sharp, but it's um, not as sharp as the other ones. So, but it's really, really cool. And uh, this is definitely a tactical style knife uh to use you know so really cool all right well i want to make kill this video but i've actually got um i wanted to, the only reason i'm bringing this one out is because it's the only one i have so i don't want to have to do a video just on it alone this is another um forward uh, assist knife and it's but it's not made by benchmade it's made by a company called uh microtech and uh, they're even harder to find in stores than, um, here it is, sorry. Harder to find than the Benchmade knives. And now this one's a forward assist also. Uh, now the only thing that, uh, well let me go over it some more. Uh, here, it's, it's a different style, even though it does come out the front. The mechanism, that, the mechanism to open it, unlike the other one on the um, Benchmade, is on the side this one I mean I'm so yes yeah, on the side this one's on the top of the handle okay this one also has a window breaker you know so you can bust a window or whatever if you need to uh, decent nice and it's very small very small and compact uh, I don't know if this maybe people may know what this is it's Eagle Talon claw and it's not I don't know if the camera will pick it up but it's not like a straight, it's got a curve to it, the, uh, the whole knife. So when you, when you hold it, it's not like you're holding a straight piece of metal or plastic or whatever it's made out of. I didn't look it up, I'm sorry, I didn't look up the specs on this because I was just going to run it in the video. Um, but it, it fits the curves of your hand. Now, it's got a really tight mechanism on it. But this one, unlike the Benchmade, is not a dual edge. It's a single-edged blade. Um, the only thing that I had, I would say, I didn't like about this knife is the. Um, if you take a look, all right, come on, here we go. If you can take, I don't know why my light keeps going off. If you take a close look right here, now this knife, I I don't use. It's not like I wear this knife in my pocket and use it every day, but right here on the edge is where it would go in and out of a pocket. You can see some of the 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 fit or the finish of the on this plastic or whatever the material is is kind of wore off a little bit but besides that I mean it's a great knife it also has a very no wobble to it that's my ring hitting it it has no wobble to it at all you know it uh, it's solid and it's also as far as uh, deploying it and retracting it it's very it's got a tight spring on it so now these Microtechs are actually higher in price than the Benchmade ones. Uh, and it's a really nice. Now I carried it for a little while, but not not long. Maybe about maybe a week or so. Um, so, anyways, um, so that's that's it for the knives. Um, wanted to do something because I haven't done a knife one. Uh, I've got some now. I I've got some other ones in there. Uh, but if you watch my other videos, now I don't know how many people who, you know, hey, I've got other videos out there besides my guns. I know probably most of my subscribers don't care. But, man, go check them out. Man, they're pretty funny. You know, may, They may be good for a laugh, you know, just, you know, for whatever, you know. Some of the 
food dumb videos that I've done and you know some of the recipe videos they're not too bad the recipe is pretty cool but anyways I also done some uh, some on, on cold steel knives now I was gonna do one on that but I've if you watch my other videos you'll see uh, though so I'm not gonna do that um, and then there's only like another knife I've got some other knives I'll probably just do as novelty I've got some you know some pretty big machetes and uh, some tomahawks uh, some uh, I think I have uh, oh I don't know some other stuff some buoy knives and I may do that just as a general video or whatever uh, but as far as knives are concerned this may be the only one I do but I'm hoping uh, if you've watched my last video, you'll know that uh, I'm waiting on a uh, target stand to be built. Uh, hopefully that it's going to get done by this weekend. And what I want to do is I'm going to take out one of my 308s. Uh, and I don't want to spoil it, but it's a really cool one. And what I want to do is I'm going to show it. And I want to take it out. And I got a new scope on it. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spot that scope. And we'll do, I'll show you, you know, we know that uh, uh, the ammo is not ex hardly expensive, but it's not that cheap. But I'm going to do some grouping to spot it in. And I think that'll be a really fun, vi fun video. But anyways, until next time, people, I really do appreciate it once again for everybody who uh, watches these videos. Uh, it really, uh, it really, uh, it's really cool, you know. I never thought, you know, uh, you know, I'm not one of these mega channels that you know people have got hundreds of thousands of subscribers and stuff like that and that's cool with me you know uh i just make these videos because i hope people enjoy them as much as i do making them anyways until next time people i really do appreciate everything that uh that you guys do as far as watching it and and you know tell your friends you know tell your friends if they're into knives or anything just watch it check it out you know throw some comments in there i love the comments you know so i can get better with the comments i mean get better with the videos so, till next time, y'all have a wonderful day. Peace out.